The most basic description of FormAssembly is an easy to use, powerful web form platform, but it's so much more than that. Through a mix of user-friendly form building abilities and flexible connectors, you can build web to anything forms for data capture into Salesforce. Plus, new for 2022, FormAssembly step up their automation with their workflow feature. My in-depth overview will dive into FormAssembly's features, not only focusing on what's new for 2022, but also how FormAssembly could be a great addition, covering multiple use cases, which only increases its value. The beauty is that you only pay for a single license per person that could cover the work multiple other apps in your stack are covering. Workflow is FormAssembly's flagship feature, helping you to visualize and automate your data collection processes. The objective with Workflow was to bring everything an admin needs into one view, so you can easily map out multiple steps, including forms, emails, integrations, and more. I had a play around with the connector steps especially. These bring pre-made integrations that have been developed and packaged up for you to leverage within Workflow. Think about the most common third-party systems your Salesforce data works alongside. Payment gateways like PayPal, event apps like Eventbrite, you can find connectors for most established business apps. Form Assembly's Salesforce connectors are the most impressive, and I'm sure that's what you're here for. Your form can interact with Salesforce data in ways you may not have imagined possible. Okay, that, that sounds dramatic, but being able to tap into different objects in your Salesforce data model is incredibly valuable. Forms can interact with the target record and related object records, including pre-populating forms, updating or creating records. When you pull together everything I've just covered, the excellent user experience, easy to configure connectors and powerful data manipulation, that's what makes FormAssembly a first rate platform. There are endless use cases. I'm speaking to you as someone who has dealt with issues like these time and time again. So next, I recommend you check out the full review on the Salesforce Ben blog, where we take a deep dive into FormAssembly. You'll find the link to that in the description below.